Oh my god, the song just started playing in reverse. Picture this, you're at the club, you're DJing, everything's going great, you're dropping your next track, you're in the mix, and then out of nowhere, Girl, you are in a France, it's not funny, but we like. The song's playing. The song's playing in reverse. What do I do? What I what am I doing? How do I how do I stop this? What's going on? Trust me. I've been there. This has happened to me like more times than I can count. And don't worry if this happens to you. This is honestly it's it's a weird reason that this is even so possible like it's in such a easy spot for you to hit this and mess this up it's kind of crazy that this is still going on to this day but what is going on is you're playing the deck in reverse right so the buttons that make it go in reverse are q and a q is for deck number one and unfortunately there's nothing out here that's going to show you this but when you hit the letter q You need to always remember this because there's literally no other way to fix this other than shutting down Serato and then restarting. Even if you get rid of the song and then you just go to load another song, it's still going to be playing in reverse. Take another song. Still playing in reverse. So this is something you need to understand. The letter Q on your keyboard. So always make sure you understand this in full. Um, another hack that you guys can use is you can come up here to your settings, the little cogwheel in the top, and then hit this little box right here that says playback keys using shift. All this is going to do is stop you from having the ability to, even for the space bar, you're going to have to hold shift. And then hit spacebar where before all you had to do is hit spacebar or enter to start the deck from working. But here, if you're in so if you want to turn that off and like never have the ability to accidentally turn that on, um, turn on that little button there because you're going to have to hold shift every time. And then hit Q if you ever wanted to have it spin backwards, which almost nobody out there does. But the only problem with that is it's going to make that happen to every other button. So if you're using like hot cues or samplers on your keyboard, you're always going to have to hold shift for everything. So it's something you're going to have to figure out. But this is something that I've got a question about a lot. Like what happens and what do you do when it's spinning backwards? And very simply, it's just the letter Q and the letter A the letter Q is for deck number one. The letter A is for deck number two. So this was just another very quick video. Please like and subscribe if you like this fire. We got more unshaven, no time left. We got a baby crying videos coming soon. I will see y'all later.